Meantime, a lawsuit was filed earlier this month against the County of Kern and the Board of Supervisors, claiming the board illegally increased land use fees over the last two years. The case filed by attorney Ralph Wiegas revolves around actions taken by county supervisors in 2021 and 2022 to raise land use fees and place them on the property tax rolls ostensibly to pay for increased costs of solid waste collection services. According to the suit, in 2021, property owners were hit with a 27% increase. In 2022, a 71% hike. Supervisors and public works staff stated each time the rate hikes were needed to comply with Senate Bill 1383, which imposes mandatory organic waste recycling requirements on local governments to reduce climate warming methane gas emissions from our landfills. But the lawsuit claims the county used millions of dollars from that revenue to to backfill its general fund after ramping up programs to combat illegal dumping and clean up homeless encampments, which yielded no specific benefit for property owners and their trash collection services. The lawsuit claims that was in violation of Proposition 218, which restricts the ability of state and local governments to impose taxes and fees. The county has violated the constitutional rights of every one of our class members. We have protection from governmental entities taxing us for things that are not related directly to our property. How much money are we talking about here, Ralph? Well, it's, it's millions of dollars. It could be $50 million. Well, the county's primary contention here is that this is, uh, you know, they were forced to do this. This is a state unfunded mandate as part of the state's universal expansion of its universal waste collection program, which now includes organic food waste and the cost associated with that. What should the county have done specifically uh, to stay within the, the law in your view? Uh, there's a right way to do this and there's a wrong way to do it. And the wrong way is to violate somebody's constitutional rights and make them pay a bill that isn't their bill. The lawsuit seeks an injunction against the county to place the land use fee hikes in question on hold. It also asked the court to declare this a class action lawsuit with potentially hundreds if not thousands of plaintiffs seeking refunds should the court find in their favor. County officials have declined our request for comment on this pending litigation.